why we're here and what we came to do this year. It's only the beginning of a very long season, but game one means just as much as game 82. Now, we have some new faces here that I really expect to make an impact for us this season. We've already seen flashes of what they can do for us, but I expect all of you to go out there and execute just like we did in camp. Ain't no more excuses. It's time to get serious. If we play our brand of basketball, there's no telling where this team can go. So get out there, get warm, and let's go win this game! Here we go. The first NBA game. This is something I've been waiting for my entire life. And to be honest, I'm a little bit nervous. But I know this is where I belong. So I just gotta get out there and do what I was born to do. I hope I can make a fan of Hello, YouTube. It's your boy, Static Gaming. Here at 2K Sports, we couldn't be happy. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony with Doris Burke reporting on the sideline. This Boston crowd ready to roar in this Eastern Conference matchup for the Celtics. And they're starting off the season playing Philadelphia here. Last season, they won all four games, showing complete dominance. And in their season series against this squad last year, very lopsided in their favor. Yeah, they swept them and basically told them in how they play, you're not on our level yet. And they look to continue that dominance tonight. And so off the tip, it's Boston. Oh, look at the 76ers starting group. Ish Smith is out there with Cannon. Then it's Robert Covington. Then there's Carl Landry. And it's Okafor in at the five spot. And hey guys, the Spurs coaching tree extends pretty far these days. Coach Brett Brown, another former member of the Spurs staff, to be leading an NBA team. Thomas, no luck. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. And Cannon gets it to go. Even though it went down, I don't think that's the kind of look they should be settling for. Side Thomas lets it go from deep. Thomas with another miss. Well, Greg for Brett Brown and the Spurs connection. He was an assistant in San Antonio for seven years, was really indoctrinated by the Spurs conducted business part before coming to the 76ers. Yeah, he's got an interesting accent, too a mix of Boston Australian from where he grew up and where he spent a lot of time. Turner comes in for Amir Johnson. And Smart subbed in for Avery Bradley. And stepping out onto the floor now for his very first official NBA playing time. We're going to check out our first glimpse of professional basketball from Jennings. You know, he's a great young player and even a better young man. So, so personally, I couldn't be happier for him. I, I know he's thinking about the game. And that bucket right there, folks, is the first official NBA basket from Jennings. Yeah, and, you know, he can relax a little bit now. That first one is in the books. It won't be the biggest bucket Patience. Right, but man, Patience. it may be the most memorable. I think you may be right about that. No matter how many thousands of them he winds up with, he'll never forget that first win. Tyler Zellers checked in for the Celtics. Thomas dishes to Olenek. Let the game come to you. We're forcing the issue too much. Looking to end the run, and the jumper falls for him. The 76ers leading by five. Up top, Jennings. Zeller grabs the board. 
They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it, Greg. They're tearing it up on the glass. And guys, as much as Isaiah Thomas can help you on offense, at times he can hurt you on the defensive side. Immediately posted up by whomever he's guarding, you have to give help. And of course, that leaves your defense vulnerable, particularly on the weak side and controlling that defensive backboard. Greg, you're talking about Isaiah Thomas before. Certainly his short stature the limits ball. him on but the defensive much. side. Yeah, but you know what? He doesn't rack up a ton of steals given his instincts and quickness. I think he really focuses on making his impact at the offensive end. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Turner with it. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Smart, wide open, he fires. He trains the three-pointer. The 76ers lead. They set the pick. Jennings, a screen on Thomas. Outside Jennings. Unloads. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Boston shooting 31% here early on. Not getting the shots they'd like. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Well, last year, Tyler Zeller both started and came off the bench, showed he could be an effective player even when playing heavy minutes. Yeah, and if you look at the games that he played as a starter, he increased his usage, and it didn't bother his production at all. And for Zeller last season, his numbers were the same or better as a starter. His scoring picked up a touch. Still had a great field goal percentage, too, so... Really solid production in his first couple of years. And Turner kicks to Smart. Jennings with the double team. Zeller, a screen on Jennings. Boston again missing. And I think the big thing for Zeller was that he found his role in the league. He knows he'll be an energy guy who has to make the most of his touches. And to his credit, he is nothing but a positive force on the floor. The dish to Thomas. Floats one. No luck. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. And here they go. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. You guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the 76ers? Well, they've come out of that locker room with a hot hand. Those jumpers have been falling for them. Also, guys, the passing has been terrific okay, in the first half. Two They'll shots. be happy two with shots. all those assists. No good on that one. And, and guys, this 76ers team still trying to forge an identity. One thing that is sure, they will attack the basket and a lot of fearless players on this roster. And the second free throw, good. Well, the 76ers do go at the basket without hesitation. They're fearless, Clark, going inside. Led the NBA last season on points off drive. Well, you know, I like to say you've got to use what you have. They didn't have many shooters, so that means head down, get to the rim. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And, Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. Take a look at where Philadelphia ended up rank-wise in the league last year. First in steals, fourth in blocks. And they were one of the top ten teams in the league at scoring points off turnovers. I'd call them a very opportunistic team. And I really feel like they fed off their pressure defense. You mentioned all the steals. That got them out in the open court and created easy opportunities offensively. And it's time for an injury report. It doesn't seem like too drastic of an injury. That's a bitter pill for them to swallow at such an early stage of the season. It really changes the look of this entire team, guys. Thank you, Doris, for the update. We appreciate it, and we really hope for the best as always. And he's a tough guy. My guess is he'll be back before we know it and better than ever. Greg, I sure hope you're right. I mean, there are just so many uncertainties when it comes to dealing with injuries, though. Let's hope for the best. 
and MB drops them both. And looking at Joel MB, he has all the tools to be the game's next great center. He's raw, no doubt about that. And he'll have to overcome the injuries, but his combination of side speed, agility, practically unparalleled. Deep two from Jennings. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. Jennings has got six. Celtics trail by seven. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Brad Stevens and I got a chance to talk for a bit. This is their first matchup of the season against this squad, and he knows the shot blocking in the middle will certainly be an obstacle. But he said, quote, we've got to remain aggressive and continue to attack. Guys, he said that putting their bigs in high pick and rolls and shooting the open jumper with confidence will be key. We'll see how they do. Wonderful stuff, Doris. Thanks. What approach to use against the opposing D, I guess, in the front of their minds? It sounds like, guys. And I think it's going to take not just one approach, but several. I mean, they are so good at making adjustments defensively. They'll have to be ready to adjust on the fly as well. Oh, no doubt. I mean, this is a team that will give you a lot of different looks at the defensive end. So adjusting and adapting, critically important. Gets it off. Got it! He got it! Just in time! What a shot! And money to end the quarter there with the triple. They knew exactly what they wanted to do right there, Greg, and the timing was right on time. Now with Freak and asked him about playing in his first NBA game. You know, I've thought about this moment my entire life. Now that it's finally here, feeling's pretty crazy. But I know it's just the beginning. I got a lot of hard work ahead of me to get to where I want to go, to be the best player and the best teammate I can be. But this is an exciting first step, no doubt. You know, Clark, you don't see that kind of perspective from most rookies, do you? You really don't, Kevin. I mean, I really like his approach to the <laughs> The 76ers leading by 13, so on the floor for Philadelphia. Noel and Embiid patrol the paint together inside. Then it's Freak, then it's Robert Covington. And so it looks like the 76ers will retain possession here. Kicks to Grant. Uh, oh. Boy, with an open look like that, he is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. Yeah, you can see he's still in rhythm, even though he misses that one almost always deadly when he's that open. Here's the screen. Shot clock at five. Austin needs to get off a shot. Thomas, it's a wide open look. And Kelly Olenek is going to pick up the fight. That is his first foul of the game. The 76ers leading by 13. Outside Jennings. Move the ball. Stick it too much. Six to shoot. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Jennings has got a left. Yeah. For them shooting the ball. Anytime your field goal percentage is in the high 50s, partner, you're doing something right. Smart passes to Olenek. And the shot no good, a bit short. Well, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going to knock that down. And it's out of bounds. Dang, man. And now let's take a look at the stats for Thomas. Last season's performance for him put up about 16 points a game, four assists, and two rebounds. And he's been putting up points with regularity. I mean, that's what they depend on, his killer instinct on offense. Yeah, yeah, and anytime this club needs a bucket, he's their go-to. Just irrepressible and a prolific score. That doesn't go either for Thomas. Trailing here in the game, you can look at his performance as a direct indicator of why they're losing. And Noel gets to Grant. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Jennings drives in and stolen by Thomas. What? Now oh, here's 
Dennis Crowder. He's covered by Grant. Crowder dishes to a limit. No. The pick gave him all the room he needed, and he knocks down the chain. Effective screen set there for the jump shot. That was the key to the play. Feeds it to Noel. Kicks it to Jennings. It's hauled in by Thomas. Celtics trail by 13. Moving it up. And stolen by Jennings. And oh, here we go. Jennings with nobody back. Good. Jennings has got 13. You know what? He wasn't I ain't playing with you. Any help on that way. Solo Soray performance all the way. How about that for a little bit of a limerick? I'm gonna let it slide. Thomas, no good. Well, so far for Coach Brad Stevens, the Celtics have had nothing but praise for their outstanding young coach. No surprise for those of us who know Brad. The team is really moving ahead in the rebuilding process, and he gets a lot of the credit. Well, it seems like they're getting a little fat and sassy here, complacent in the second quarter. <laughs> if we've seen their free throw attempts stagnate, not getting much going on inside. They can't get too comfortable. Grant, that's good. Grant's got his second bucket of the night. Just a great job of attacking on the break. Yeah, you know, exploding to the basket like that. What? Oh, that's some cheese. That's um, exactly how you want to do it. And part of the reason why the Celtics are ahead of schedule in the rebuild is because of Coach Brad Stevens. He has everyone on the same day. We ain't letting that happen, baby. By his work ethic. People around him, he think he's already a top coach. He could be one of the greats by the time he's done if he stays at a professional level. Good on both. There's 117 left to play here in the half. Outside Jennings. On the shot clock, on deep. Ah. That wonderful. Smart passes to Thomas. Forty-three seconds left to play in the first half. Let's it go from eleven. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Philadelphia leading by 15. Outside Jennings to the middle. Shoots from the high post. And the 76ers tack on two more. Thomas. Get that out of here! Oh! You ain't making none, boy. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. 76ers lead by six. Let's go. The boy got an eight minus. I mean, you got a screen right here. Oh, pull it. 
That's bull. That's some cheese right there, bro. That's real cheese. Where you going, dog? Go ahead, pull up. Get your stuff packed. <laughs> Dang it. Misses off the left iron. And then they continue to control the glass. Fuck it. Ooh. In your mouth, big man. White dude can't take it, babe. Who did? Tyler. Oh, Tyler. Oh. I demolished you right there, boy. Get him. Oh, he can hit that, man. Hit it, hit it. Oh my lord, oh my gosh. Get him. You leading them open, bro. Dude, that's like, man, that's, that's a free throw for that dude, man. Now everybody know you cannot lead dude like that over. Come on. Ah. Uh, you draw the foul, that's what's up. Yeah. Man, you pull me out. So it's Philadelphia taking the W in a close one here. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really an accomplishment and, and crazy finish to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire tonight. building. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. And coming up next, the post game show with Ernie Johnson, Shaq, and Kenny the Jet. Sports Ernie Johnson again, folks, alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Time now to take a quick peek at our Jordan player of the game. He had an outstanding fourth quarter where he really shined, pouring it on heavy down the stretch. Well, he showed us just how good he can be when he's at the top of his game. And the building was stunned. You saw people leaving early, throwing popcorn, throwing hot dogs, spilling soda. He put on a CSDP, a crowd shut down performance. Man, that's what I'm talking about, Ernie. He was up to every single challenge he faced tonight. He was in such control of the ball game. His showcase of his skill set was awesome. And that's it for our broadcast here tonight. But we're just getting started on a new season in the NBA. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you again soon.